hello friends welcome back to the new tutorial of the react today we are going to learn about the how to add the code editor in react so those who haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video please do like share and comment on my video let's get started so here you can see that we have a multiple languages that we have selected and run the code on the behalf of it it will give me the output <coughs> right okay so here we have a console.log hello we can change it like this and then run the code and it will automatically output whatever we have done in this whatever language we have okay so let's see what package we have used right so here we have the code base <coughs> okay so first of all we have to go with the source then we have a components okay and then we have a APIs, then app.js and constants. Okay, so first we go with the main that is index.js where we are using the Chakra UI React. Okay, and the app is bind over there. Next we go with the app.js file. So here we have using the editor window. If I go with the package, so let's go with the, I'm using the Monaco editor. Okay, so here we go with the Monaco editor and it's a number of downloads are pretty much good. So you can use it, right? <coughs> right, so installation the process, just you have to go with the npm install Monaco editor react, right? And uh, then you have the usage like this, editor, height, default language, whatever language you want to go and with some comment okay so this is basically it will give you the default language javascript so on the button click you want to show the output or something you can do that part okay so this is that one so basically you have to go with the import editor react and this function app basically to get the editor and the default language would be javascript <coughs> okay that will give you that editor right Okay, so hey, my component is basically something like uh, on changing and showing the output. So editor will come from for this one. Okay, if I'm adding over here, the editor will come. Next, we have the editor window. I have created this one. So here you can see that Monaco editor I'm using. So editor window, default language and the codes. Okay, so here we are defining the codes. So JavaScript. So it, here you can see the JavaScript, TypeScript and the python this is the languages and these have the core templates okay so what we have added over here right next one that we have editor ref so here you can see that if i just go scroll down so here you can see that we have a editor ref use ref null okay so handle editor mount dead mount right show values okay so all of the things you will get it from here handle change language so i have created the new one that is to whenever we change the language then we have to set the language and the code template okay then we have calling the editor with height language value and the on mount okay and then we have a output editor ref okay so where we are showing the output okay then export default the editor window done then we have a language switch so here we have a language switch languages okay so language then we have the multiple languages over here on select languages we have to select the language menu item this is a ui basically and export the language switch okay and um, here we have go with the languages right lang version so here you will get the lang version constants so it will loop it out and show me the languages like whatever we have defined as a constants and map it and selection part then we have a output.jsx file so here we have to what whatever language we have select we have to show the output okay so this is the code for that one okay then we have a run code function okay so here we are using the get current value whatever we have then we have to execute the code okay if i just go and just search it out actually we have a this this api right execute code so what we are doing const data language version and the files okay then call this api and return the data and we have to use it okay next we have <laughs> this is done okay then we have the next file this is source code get ref 
execute the code no need to split the basic output display if something goes wrong store the error for the display okay log that one and here we are showing the box with this and the button that run code when we click on the run code okay set is loading true set error to be null and after that uh, what then we are going to get the current value and execute the code accordingly okay so this is the full fledged code for that one right so these three files we have already discussed okay components discuss api.js file is also done app.js file are also clear and the constants is also done okay so this is how you are able to add the code editor into your react application and without any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day